Well, good morning from Filey, or the outskirts of, just walking out. Not been out for a hell of a long time. The weather, as you can see, is lovely. And just to align all the stars, we're all here. There's Rich, and there's Phil sporting his schnauzer beard. Pointy. So, the plan for today is about nine miles, but that's a Richard nine miles, so it could be 14, who knows. I guess we'll find out at the end of it. Um, so we're just heading towards Hummonby now. I'm going to go see Richard's dad for a bit. And then we're going to do a, a coastal walk and a coastal camp. Well, like I said, it's been over a long time for me. So I'm really looking forward to it. Onwards. <laughs> in now on the world's way. Oh that's the world's way. It's an ear of cod. It's an ear of cod. Ba bum So <laughs> where are we now? We're off the world's way, where are we? Heading to Woman Bay. Go and see Richie's dad. Hi Richie's dad. Such a lovely walk apart from the manure. Apart from the poo. Poo. Stinky. So yeah. So far so good. <laughs> Full there. Uh... <laughs> run Phil, run! This is a human game of frog. <laughs> Well, after a couple of miles beach walking, we've done Five miles to Richie's dad's and five miles to this spot here. Richie's just writing stuff in the sand. He did write it over there, but then the water came in and he got angry. I don't know what he's writing. We don't know what he's writing, do we? I think it's, I love Phil and John. it's what? I love Phil and John. Bless him. Anyway, so we're not far off our spot now. It's just a little ways up there and then up onto the cliff and it'll be time to chill out for a bit so I'll see you when we get there well we've reached our camping spot my uh, 
review of it and when I came down on Saturday to check it was all dry it still is so that's good so as you can see we're just starting to pitch well trying to trying to so I best get on with it right so we're all pitched up now or just finishing touches no we aren't, no, we aren't. <laughs> have a shout out to Terra Nova just to say that I don't know how to pitch a tent the infamous Pioneer 2 that I've brought that if you watch the video from 30th of December I think it was Mally and Spout and got up and the pole snapped so that was a camp sh cut short Ugh. have a look inside keep this shut for some little bugs so, X light large but plenty of room for one or plenty of room for a big one <laughs> you what? Possibly. You'd have, to be, you'd have to be close friends. But Philip's got something brand new. Solar Mid XL. Solar Mid XL. The new version. The new Big The new Big It's about, what is it, 10 centimetres bigger than man? Each, hey. each direction. <laughs> hey. Yeah. It's uh, very nice. I'll leave him to do that. I can see he's concentrating. And Rich is in his ear looks. Just <laughs> wiping everything down because he's had ratter till we go over everything. 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 So that's not great. So as you can see, I've pitched up. I didn't snap my pole, so I'm happy. Phil's concentrating on his tent. He's nearly done. And Richie's wiping everything down because it's covered in ratatouille. So, yeah. It's uh, just another camp. <laughs> but it's a lovely day. Right, boys and girls. It's campsite story time with our host today, Richard Kavanagh. <laughs> So, speeding, located between Farley and Bridlington, it is North Yorkshire's most eastern settlement. Now, during World War II, it was littered with pillboxes, which were lookouts for land invasions from enemy forces, but have now succumbed to land erosion and taken by the sea. You didn't say sadly. At 10am on the morning of November 21st, 1897, the Laura, a coal ship that set sail to Austria, run aground on Speet and Sands. The captain stayed aboard and tried to save the ship at high tide, but sadly the back end of the ship broke. During that time they removed the cargo to the beach and the remains of the propeller and the chimney stack can still be seen to this day. Fascinating slowly, stuff. Slowly being taken back by the sea. Fascinating. So the ground in this area is made up of red and white chalk. Which is from the Jurassic and Cretaceous period. My word! But are sadly covered by land erosions. But many Saxon and Viking relics have been found in the area. That was outstanding! It was very interesting. However, if it carries on like this for the rest of the night, I'm lobbing myself <laughs> off the fucking cliffs. Hey, John, that was excrement. Excrement. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Phil's just said, that was not a scene like Aquaman. Maybe a fat Aquaman, but anyway. So we've uh, we've give up near the camp spot. Cause it's just too hot and there's no breeze. So we've come to enjoy the beach, the big white sand that Phil's rubbing his feet in. And I'd just like to point out these two smug shits in the chairs. And I've got a bit of polystyrene with a big white rock on it. But yeah, we're uh, enjoying it so far. It's a lovely day. Good morning. 
It is 4.45 in the AM. Um, after a 10 mile hike yesterday in the heat. And then about four hours sleep maybe. I think we're uh, we're all feeling it. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time. As you've seen, sun's just come up. Beautiful. So I think they're going to have breakfast. I don't know if I am. I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, and then what we have to do then is we're going to climb out of here all the way up up to there, and we're going to walk along the cliffs to Filey, which is all the way over there in the distance, about three, four miles away maybe, back to the car. I was talking about doing a beach walk, but the tide's coming, so I think that's out of the picture. So I might, what we might have to do is go walk down to Reeton and go down there to hit the beach and then walk, walk around. So yeah, been a good camp, again. <laughs>